Description of Condenser Tube Cleaning System, CTCS. The condenser tube cleaning systems of Jungu Industrial Machine has the simple operating method of a closed ball recirculating loop. The sponge balls put into the ball collector go to a condenser through a ball recirculation pump and pass through a condenser tube by the flow of main cooling water. Since the diameter of a sponge is 1 to 2 millimeters bigger than the inner diameter of a condenser tubes, the sponge balls clean foreign substances in a condenser tube passing through the tube. After that, those balls are put into the front end of a condenser again through a ball strainer. This is a pump skid. Fixed screen ball collector. It is used to store or to replace sponge balls. Ball recirculation pump and motor. It is used to circulate and collect sponge balls with a fluid. Manual valve at the front end of ball collector. It is used to cut off a fluid when draining the fluid in a ball collector. Ball collector MOV. It is used as a control valve to control the circulation and collection of sponge balls. Manual valve at the rear end of ball collector. It is used to cut off a fluid when draining the fluid in a ball collector. Ball collector vent valve. It is used to remove the air when draining or filling the fluid in a ball collector. Ball collector drain valve. It is used to drain the fluid in a ball collector. Ball injection nozzle. It is used to make sponge balls to be distributed to enter into the front end of a heat exchanger. Ball strainer. It is used to filter out the sponge balls passed through a condenser tube from main cooling water and send those balls back to a ball collector. Ball strainer screen actuator. It is used to activate the open-close operation of a ball strainer. Ball strainer outlet cutoff valve. It is used to cut off the fluid at the outlet of a ball strainer. Operation procedures of condenser tube cleaning system. Close the ball strainer screen. Close the ball collector MOV. Stop the ball recirculation pump. Close the DPMS flushing MOV. Open the ball strainer outlet cutoff valve. Open the ball injection nozzle. Close the valves at the front end and rear end of a ball collector. The followings are the procedures for draining the fluid in a ball collector. Close the isolation valves at the front end and rear end of a ball collector. Open the drain valve and vent valve. Drain a fluid. After the completion of draining, close the drain valve. Inject sponge balls after soaking them in water. A ball recirculation pump is activating. Since a ball collector MOV is still in a state of closing, 
a fluid only is flown through a bypass pipe of the ball collector. When the ball collector MOV is opened after one minute, the sponge balls get out of the ball collector and then are injected into a condenser. The sponge balls pass through the condenser tube, come to a ball strainer at the rear end of the condenser. The ball strainer screen filters out the sponge balls and sends those balls back to the ball collector. The sponge balls returned to the ball collector are injected to a condenser again. Such state is called a circulation mode. When the circulation mode is finished after 30 minutes, a collecting mode starts. The pump maintains the operating conditions, and a ball collector MOV is closed. This state is called a ball collecting mode, which lasts for two hours. Upon completion of a two-hour collecting mode, the pump stops first and the ball strainer screen is opened to remove the filtered foreign substances. And also, the DPMS flushing MOV is opened to clean a diaphragm of DPIT. The DPMS flushing MOV is closed after one minute, and the ball strainer screen is closed. Therefore, all the procedures of the CTCS are completed.